What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another opening and today we have the newest set, Rise of the Duelist and it should be releasing today when you see this video, it's going to be pretty awesome, obviously you can see the Gaia, the new Gaia the Dragon Champion card is called like the Magical something Gaia something, we're going to find it though and then we're going to look up what the name is, so yeah I'm pretty excited about it, the giveaway for this video Giving away these cor four cards, two Narby Lady, Soul Charge, Enemy Controller, and Mermail Abysteus. I'm pretty excited about this because this set has a Starlight DD Crow and the Starlight Gaia. We're going to figure out what the actual name is. I looked it up earlier, but I already forgot. But it's something a little bit different. But it looks really awesome. It's actually considered like the worst Starlight in the set, but I would love to pull it. So let's just get into it. We have three booster boxes here. I am going to be live streaming a case opening this Saturday, unless of course the case doesn't arrive, which it's scheduled to arrive, but you never know, you can't ever know when the mail is actually going to arrive until it actually gets there. So the plan is Saturday to have a live stream, open up the case, hopefully pull a DD Crow Starlight or the Gaia Starlight. Then there's some other epic cards. The Gaia is actually a super rare normally, so we'll probably pull the super rare in this opening, and if we don't, we'll almost definitely pull it out of a full case. So here we go. Let's get into the new set. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I am pretty excited because it's a whole new set. It's a main set. We haven't ever opened a case of a main set, so this is going to be pretty cool. Here we go. Oh, look at there. The first pack. Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. I knew it had something to do with magical. So that's a pretty cool card, and it will look amazing in Starlight. So let's hope we get it. So yeah, here we go with the penny sleeves. By the way, you guys... Can't make up your mind. Half of you guys want penny sleeves. Half of you want dragon shield sleeves. So you know what? I'm gonna use whatever sleeves I want. So yeah. What is this? Yeah, you heard it. I'm using whatever sleeves I want. So some days you might see penny sleeves. Some days you might see dragon shield sleeves. So maybe even in the same video we do both. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Here we got a Melfi Pony. And Dogmatica Theo. So this set is very Dogmatica heavy. Alright, next pack. We already pulled the cover card on the first pack. That is a good sign, if you ask me. A very good sign. I know that the best card is a spell card. The best secret is like the non-starlight cards. Speedroid blo block and roll. I definitely don't know what the good super rares are. Because there's not really a price guide yet. And I haven't watched too many videos on this yet about people that actually know what's going to be strong in the meta. I don't, of course. I don't play the actual game. A lot of you guys ask me that, and I'm like, no, I don't. I don't play. I just collect. I open. I will play some. Oh, there we go. Infra Noble Knight Emperor Charles. That's pretty cool. Ultra rare. I will play some GOAT format every once in a while, but not the current stuff. Infra Noble Knight Emperor Charles. Check that out. Ultra rare. Our first non super rare pull so that's pretty cool uh we're gonna put the guy at um the guy guy into the hits pile because obviously he is awesome okay next pack these packs feel so much different because i'm used to opening armageddon that are tiny there's only five cards per pack these have nine cards per pack so here we go raid raptor revolution falcon air raid captain roland melfi hide and seek let me know in the comments guys oh yeah to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite comp your favorite card from this new set, and let me know what you think about the whole set. Yeah, so if you guys just showed up for the giveaway, you're gonna have to wait about four minutes to figure out what you have to do. Infer Noble Knight Og Ogier? <laughs> or is that yeah, Ogier? How in the world do you say that? Spiral Fusion, another fusion card. Resavage. Ogier, oh, Ogier, Ogier, <laughs> okay, what is this? Yeah, somebody was asking me if I'd be able to put in, like, what is this in the live stream, and I said, no, I'm just gonna have to do it manually, so I gotta work on it, check that out, the guy card, Spiral Reborn, I have to work on my what is this, ooh, there's a secret rare, Tight, <laughs> Titan Nickla, Titan Nicklad, the Ash Dragon, okay, that looks sweet, let, let me see if I can find it on here, the low is $17, but, of course, before I'm opening this before the set is technically released, so like regular people like that aren't local stores and stuff like that can't sell stuff on TCG Player, like, like, like pre-sales or anything. So the prices are way higher because there's a tiny quality or a tiny quantity on the market. Once the set releases, there'll be a lot hit the market. So I'm guessing a $17 card becomes more like a $5 card unless it's undervalued, which is sometimes happens. So probably not an amazing secret, but definitely not terrible because it has at least a decent value right now 
Because remember, Armageddon, everything was... I mean, the prices were super high, and then we opened everything, and my video came out, and all the prices by that time had already crashed, which was crazy. Here we go. Infernoble Arms Joyous. I saw that uh, on House of Champions. He said that the clumping in the, in the cases were crazy. So maybe even in, like, boxes, you might get, like, some of the same stuff. So I'm a little worried about... Maybe getting a bad card and getting it like multiple times. Ooh, there we go. We got the little goblin guys. Yamanabe. That what is that other card they're on? I mean they're on multiple cards, I think, but it's that trap card that I'm thinking of. Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Let's see if we can get oh check that out. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. It's pretty cool. Dogmatica. Shadal Schism is an ultra rare. Melfi Rabbit. The Melfi Rabbit. Ah, uh, brings me back to Legendary Duelist Season 1. Shadal Schism. Ultra Rare. Yeah, I would definitely want a DD Crow or the Gaia Starlights. Number one for me. Just because they're really cool. Linker Bell. Free of Kaishin. Dogmatica Aiden, the Enlightened. You guys will have to let me know what the strong super rares are. If I haven't found out already after the video or whatever. But yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what I'm missing. The good commons, super rares. There's no rares in main sets anymore, so we don't know about those. Revenge Rally. Scarecrow. And Diameter. Also, don't forget about the 20k special, which is slowly approaching. Somewhat slowly. It'll, it'll get here. And uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe for that. We're going to be opening all kinds of crazy stuff. Soldier Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Check that out. You guys can check out the Champion Pack video where I talked about what we're going to open. Soldier Guy the First Night. Um, and it's going to be really awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Also excited for this live stream case opening. Make sure you guys show up to that. I'll try and announce when it's going to be. It, it might be at the normal time. It might be a little bit later. Hopefully we can get it around that time. Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. And then you guys can come hang out. Because the last one was crazy. We pulled that 10,000 Dragon. Check it out in the eye. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun to pull that 10,000 Dragon live. You guys were hyped. I was hyped. Chelsea was hyped. Sweet. Raid Raptor, Arsenal Falcon. Super rare. Red Potato and Edge Imp Scythe. So we're going a little bit slowly here. We've all, we're barely halfway through this booster box. We still have two more left. Don't want this video to be too crazy because I have to edit it. Artillery Catapult Turtle. So we got an old school catapult. They've done all kinds of old school stuff in here. Old school catapult turtle. That's really cool. We've got Gaia, we've got Catapult Turtle. I mean, this is a big time throwback. All right, next pack. So we pulled one secret so far out of this box. We can pull an epic one. We want to pull those spell cards. The first Dark Lord, I can't remember what they're called. One of them's called like Triple Something. I think that's the best card. And then like Droplet is the other good one. I think that's, I think that's right. Linker Bell. Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. Can't complain about getting too much of the cover card. It is so weird that they have the cover card in, like, Super. But then they have it in Starlight as well, so it makes a little bit more sense. Then before, when they would put it in Super Rare, and that would just be the highest rarity. You're like, uh, or like a rare. It's like, wait a second here. Melfi Finney, Dark Lord. Forbidden Droplet, here it is. This is the number two secret in the set right now, sitting at around $60 to $65. That is a really good one. And we'll see what the price is tomorrow, but being in the top two cards in the set is usually, they have a good chance of staying around their price, but sometimes they will, sometimes they'll go down a little bit, of course. Sometimes they'll go a lot down, you know, it just depends. But I think that card is pretty strong, definitely worth quite a bit, so that's a great pull, a really good Seeker Rare. Here we go, let's see if we can pull something else good. Ancient Warrior's Oath, Double Dragon Lord, super rare. You got Indulge Dark Lord. What can we pull? Can we pull a Starlight as well? That'd be crazy. Milfy Monkey. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. Oh my goodness. Check that card out. This is okay. All the guy cards are super low rarity, but they look amazing. I mean, just look at that. That's one of the coolest looking cards. Magmatica, Mathematic Diameter, Mathematic, Math. What did I just say? I don't know. I don't know what I just said. Here we go. Next pack. 
Speedroid Car Turbo Ultra Rare. It's got a little book on it, looks like. It's an interesting car. It looks like a plug with a book coming out of it. All right, here we go. Not plug, a uh, like an outlet. Here we go. Dogmatica. Infra Noble Knight Oliver. We're getting a lot more Infra Noble Knights in here to go along with the Tune Chaos stuff. Infra Noble Knight. Hot Clear. Okay, two more packs in this box. It's been a pretty good box. I think we made our money back as of values right now. We definitely made our money back, but the values may go down. They may change. Ret Time Reviver Emitter. I got these at my local store. I pre-ordered them, but it was only a few days ago, so it wasn't like an early pre-order. So I think they were... They were about 82 bucks after tax, which is not too bad, especially recently with how expensive boxes have been. DD Dog, Ancient Warriors, Edge M Scythe, and Megalith Full. Okay, there we go. That's the end of that first Rise of the Duelist box. Now we've got two more. Oops. Let's see if we can pull something epic. Right now we've pulled already one of the best secrets in the set. Can we pull the other one, which is called like Triple... What is it called? Triple Tactics Talent. It also comes in Starlight Rare. So that could be... That would be an epic pull. We've already pulled the number two secret, so I would definitely be hyped about pulling the other one. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think they're actually short printed though, so... We'll see how that... Inf uh, not infects. Wow. Affects the price. I think there's, there's no short printing going on. It's going to be interesting to see. So maybe the clumping will happen. We'll get another one of the ones we already pulled. This, the droplet. Raid Raptor, Arsenal Falcon. Melfi. Yeah, a Starlight would be incredible. Obviously, I would take any of them. And not just the two that I said I wanted. Galloping Gaia. The first Dark Lord. We pulled him a couple... Or that's the second time, I think. Red Potato. We're going to go a tiny bit faster, because we have seen most of the cards. Except except for the hits, of course. Probably haven't seen it. We definitely haven't seen the secret rares. Probably haven't seen most of the ultra rares. Should all schism. There it is. We got another one. Speaking of the clumping, we got the second, or the same ultra rare again. There we go. Alright, next pack. And also, I heard that uh, these are mappable boxes. So, you got to be really careful when buying loose packs. Um, and also, here it is, the Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. So for me, I'm probably not going to like mix them up or anything, because I think a Starlight will be anywhere in the pack. But the secrets might be like a little predictable, which is kind of weird. But Starlight shouldn't... I mean, that's kind of what we're looking for. And that will be anywhere. Because you obviously are not going to map one box for Starlights, because there's one every 25 boxes. And the funny... Yeah, here we go. We're actually searching for these two... Is actually harder than like the 10k dragon. Or if you just search for one. Because there's five different starlights. So it's really tough to pull the one you want. Triple tactics talent. Boom. Let's go. The two best secret rares out of two boxes. Triple tactics talent. Secret rare. Wow. That's a good pull. That's the number one secret in the set right now. So we are doing pretty well. Really well. Really, really well. Overall, I paid... What, 82? Like, almost 250 bucks. So that's almost, that's over half of our money back right there on those two two cards. Which is pretty awesome. Also, did get the Lost Art promos, which is really great. Because those are good value to, if you want to sell them or keep them, whatever you want to do with them. And I usually sell mine because I don't really care for them, personally. I care, I used to like the, uh, when his Exodia came out, that was, I collected all of those. And then the Monster Reborn, I think, is definitely my favorite Lost Art ever. The number, the first one ever. I remember when that came out and I went to go get one, but they were out, so I had to end up buying one. For Noble Knight Oliver. Yeah, or no, I went and it was like the day after and they had just changed to the Exodia head. Or whichever one. I think Exodia head was first. Or did they skip one and go to Exodia? I, I don't remember. But uh, I remember Monster Reborn was not there. Ooh. Gizmek Okami, the dreaded Deluge Dragon. Ultra rare. Wow, our, our secret rare pulls have been insane. I can't believe we pulled those. Alright, but it's a good news. Like, if there is clumping going on, if we could get, like, multiple of them, it'd be insane. Here we go. Ret Time Reviver Emitter. Spiral Fusion. Drill Diver. 
All right, we've got what? Two more packs right here. We'll just throw that right there. Sticking together. Let's see if we can pull some fire. In the last pack, or the last two packs. DD Dog. We haven't seen that guy yet. DD Dog. Nice pendulum, though. Pendulum looks so weird. <laughs> they just look weird. Okay. Dogmatica Nation. Dice Dart. Dice. Diced Dice. It's hard to say. Melfi Puppy. That is kind of a weird looking card. Alright, here we go. Second half of the second box. We're about halfway through. So far we've pulled some real, real good cards. Magellanica, the Deep Sea City. Okay. Red Potato. Can we pull a Gaia Starlight or a DD Crow? DD Crow would be pretty awesome. I just can't wait for the day when they do a Starlight, a Blue Eyes, or Dark Magician, or Red Eyes. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. Or maybe they'll just go back to Ghosts for those. I don't know. Either way, because they're doing Ghosts with Raw. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. Speed Road Car Trip. See, look, we're pulling the same Ultras. Pull two of these. You pull two of the. Uh, what was the other one? The other card that we pulled twice? There Was it a trap card, I think? I can't remember. I'm losing it. Give us a starlight. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped for a starlight. Gaia the Magical Knight. Wait, have we seen that one? That is sweet. Those Gaia cards are so awesome. Alright. Let's go. DD Crow. Let's go, DD Crow. Let's go, DD Crow. Dogmatica tidying. Huh. Dogmatica tidying. Interesting. Okay. Can we pull it, DD Crow? Let's go, DD Crow. Let's go, DD Crow. Oh, out Emancipator Friends. Okay, there's our other secret rare. Let's see what this guy is doing. Ooh, this one's not too good. So it balances out. We got the incredible one, and then we got the poor one. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. When you get the best secret in the set, it's okay if the other one is not so good. Let's see if we can pull the starlight out of this box. Can we do it? Can we get super lucky? We've got about a, what, 12% chance or something like that? 12.5% would be 1 out of 20, or 1 out of 8. But we really have a little bit less than a 1 out of 8 chance because there's 1 out of 25 boxes. We're opening 3. Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. So we're going to have a bunch of this guy. Super rare. That's a pretty cool card. Let's get the Starlight version. I would not be opposed. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, whoops. Melfi of the Forest. That's such a... It looks like a ghost rare almost. Crazy looking. Kind of cool. Ultra rare. Melfi of the Forest. Alright. Three packs left. Let's get this box out of the way. Three packs left in this box. Then we have one final chance. Starlight. Out of that box. And then we'll have to wait until the live opening. So maybe we'll pull it in a live opening for you guys. Speed Road Block and Roll. That would be pretty awesome. Live opening for a Starlight Rare. I've only pulled... Technically, it depends on if you count 10,000 Dragon. I've pulled one, and then I've pulled 10,000 Dragon. From Noble Knight Ogier. Yeah, so, so far, I've only pulled the good ones. I pulled Lightning Storm, which is the best one. and But I've never pulled... I don't know why I put that in sleep. I've never pulled, like, a bad Starlight. Bad. I mean, they're all pretty good. And then I pulled 10k, so obviously that's a good one. The first Dark Lord. Super rare. Okay, that's it for the second box. Final box. The box. Give us the luck. Here we go. Rise of the Duelist. The newest Yu-Gi-Oh card set. Rise of the Duelist. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's duel this. Okay, yeah. All right, I got to stop. Gaia rides again. We ride again. Seems like something from like Lord of the Rings or something. Okay. Let's do this. 
Let's do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get him caught in there. Last 24 packs with a chance at a starlight. Can we pull absolute fire? Here we go. Last chance for today, at least. Melfi Puppet. Heavenly Dragon. Oh. Keep pulling two out of here for some reason. Here we go. Fluffle Dolphin. Magellanica. The Deep Sea City. And for Noble Knight. Give us the fire. Here we go. Dogmatica. Lifeless Leaf Fish. So this is our first time pulling this one. That's a very creepy, very creepy card. Lifeless Leaf Fish. Alright. Next one. Lifeless Leaf Fish. That is... It's an interesting card. Oh, whoops. Raid Raptor Revolutiony Falcon. Drill driver. So far, nothing nothing in the new box except the lifeless leaf fish. So we got a lot of possibilities here. Melfi Mommy. Guy the Magical Knight. Cool super rare. Let's pull some absolutely epic fire starlight pulls. Come on. Triple tactics talent. Yes. The clumping. Two of the best secret rare in three boxes. That is amazing. And not to mention the second best secret rare. The pulls are fire. Let's go. That is amazing. Triple tactics. Can we pull triple, triple tactics? <laughs> we'll pull another one. That would be, um, I, I don't even know what I would say. I would probably just pass out from happiness. Maybe we'll pull the uh, Starlight Rare version. That'd be, that wouldn't be bad either. Okay. Dragon Maid Tidying. Spiral Fusion. So yeah, this uh, this is going well. This is going really well so far. The pulls are not bad. Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon. Indulge Dark Lord. Okay. Gaia. The Fierce Knight. Gaia. Ice. Dragon's Prison. Check that card out. Man, there's some really cool looking cards in this set. I'm digging it. There's some really cool looking cards. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a fan. I The thing about the uh, Triple Tactics Talent, I mean, I obviously love that it's expensive. I'm sure it's very playable and stuff, but it just, I don't really care for it that much. Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. I'm not really a huge spell card fan for like collecting unless it's like Raigeki or something like that you know the originals or polymerization but like the new spells it's like eh don't really care about spells too much because they, I mean they have to have like a monster on them you know what I mean it's like so much cooler to collect a monster card speedroid block and roll Melfi rabbit all right okay this video is we can probably keep it under 30 minutes maybe it's not too bad 30 minutes, some of you guys like the 30 minute videos, most of you. Some of you do not, some of you guys like 10 minute videos only. And for Noble Knight Ogre. But also, here's the thing. It's impossible for all of you guys to like everything. Because there's a lot of you, you know? And some people are gonna like it, some people aren't. So I'm just gonna do my best to hopefully have most of you guys like it. All right, the first Dark Lord. That's all I can do, that's all I can do. Can't please everybody. That is especially evident when you have a YouTube channel. I I didn't I knew it before, but once we, you know, started doing a lot of openings and stuff, that's when I realized, you know what? You cannot please everyone. You can't even please most everyone unless you're doing a great job. So I'm always happy when most of you guys are happy. I'm very happy with how it's going. Okay. Win the win channeler. Wait, is this the Is this the secret? Or the the other Starlight? That's one of the other Starlights, I think. Win the Wind Channel. That's a cool card. Ultra Rare. Okay. We have one more Secret Rare or Prismatic card. Here we go. Let's do this. Pull us the Fire Smash Tank Rhino Saber. And fight for Jar. Okay, what do we got left? Let's get rid of the box. We have a good amount of packs left. Maybe like eight or nine. Looks like. 
Let's see if one of them can contain absolute fire. We've already pulled absolute fire, so. Dogmatica, Aiden, the Enlightened. We haven't really pulled any of the Dogmatica secrets. Unless those cards have to do with Dogmatica. But they don't say it in the title, that's all I know. I don't really read effects very well. I don't actually like look at them. Nadir Servant. I haven't heard of this one. So that's probably not a good sign. Oh wow. This is a good one. Low price on it's fifty fifty one dollars. So this one may turn out to be expensive. It looks like it is probably gonna be expensive. So we've pulled like some of the all the top secrets in the whole set. So that is that's insane. That's absolutely insane. This opening's been great. We've only we pulled one bad secret, one average, and then three incredible secrets. No. Four incredible secrets. Oh my goodness. There is absolutely nothing to complain about. We, even if we don't get a starlight, which it doesn't look like we're going to. I mean, this is still awesome. This is about as good as you can do without a starlight. I am a big fan of how this has gone. And for Noble Knight, Joyous. It could go it have go, could have gone a lot worse. And it has gone a lot worse in the past. Speaking of Eternity Code. I didn't open a case of that set, but I'm sure I would have pulled like zero secrets out of the whole case somehow. Rika Queen Strina. That is a cool ultra. That might be our last ultra from the from the box. That's a good one. Indulge Dark Lord. DD Evil. DD Evil. I didn't just notice that guy. Okay, three packs left. Can we pull up Surprise Starlight at the very end and just have our minds be blown? Revenge Rally, super rare. DD Evil again. Two packs left in this epic opening. Some really amazing pulls. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments your favorite card from the opening. Oliver. Melfi Rabbit. Red Potato. Okay. Final pack. Give us the luck for Starlight. Crazy Starlight Rare. Let's 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 not ruin it here. Let's go like this. Dark Lord Nurgle. Melfi Mommy. Dogmatica Nation. Blizzard Super Rare. Okay. So no, no starlight this time, but we do have a case coming in the live stream this Saturday. Make sure you guys are there. I'll update you on the community tab when it's going to start and try and show up if you guys want to hang out. It's going to be fun. Okay. Here we go. This is what we got. We pulled insane. I'm going to try and put this, the good secrets at the back. We got some Gaia's. We got some Ultras. Okay, let's put that in the back. The Leaf Fish, Melfi, more Gaia's. Secret Rare. We got that guy, the Gizmek Okami. We got another Gaia. We got another Gaia. Some Ultra Rares. Got another Gaia. Infernoble Knight. So here are our secrets, okay? So how many guys do we pull? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five out of three boxes. So they look like one to two per box from what I can sell. We got a Nadir Servant. Triple Tactics Talent. Adamant, Adamant Spader Friends. That's the worst one for sure. Another Talent. A Forbidden Droplet. And a Titan Nick Lad, the Ash Dragon. So we got six secrets. Four of them were insane. So that was amazing. We pulled absolutely amazing. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys like the video. And don't forget about the live stream coming up on tomorrow, I guess. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hope to see you there. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>